Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve problems involving linear equations in one variable. Remember, in solving word problem, we must consider the following. First, understand the problem. Second, make a representation of the given. Third, make an equation. And fourth, solve the equation. Now let's have example number one. The sum of two consecutive integers is 15. Find the integers. First, understand the problem. The problem said the sum, so sum means addition, of two consecutive integers means two, two dalawang number. Consecutive means magkasunod. Okay, so again, the sum of two consecutive integers is 15. So, kapag pinag-add mo daw yung dalawang integers or dalawang magkasunod na integers, ang sum non or yung total non ay 15. So, aalamin natin ngayon yung integers na yun. Now, after natin maintindihan yung problem, since ang hinahanap natin ay dalawang magkasunod na integers, na kapag inad natin ay 15, we are going to make a representation. So, after natin maintindihan kung ano yung hinahanap natin sa isang problem, gagawa na tayo ngayon ng representation. So, first, let x be the first number or yung unang number. Let x be the one of the number. And then, let x plus 1 be the other number. Bakit x plus 1 kasi nga magkasunod lang naman sila, di ba? So since they are consecutive integers, magpa plus 1 ka lang para makuha mo yung second number. Now, after natin gumawa ng representation, we are going to make an equation. So we all know that uh, dun sa given, ang sabi niya, the sum, so kapag pinag-add mo daw yung dalawang magkasunod na integers, yung sagot ay 15. So, to make an equation, we are just going to add the two given numbers na gina ginawa natin dun sa representation, which is yung x, yung first number, at saka yung x plus 1, dun sa pangalawang number. So, ang gagawin na lang natin na equation ngayon ay x plus x plus 1 is equal to 15. So, ipag-add lang natin yung dalawang given. Now, after natin gumawa ng equation, now let's do the uh, computation. Siyempre, gagawa na tayo ngayon ng solution. So, now, we are going to apply the APE in this equation. So, first, we are going to add the similar term, which is yung x, yung dalawang x, so it will become 2x plus 1 is equal to 15. Now, we are going to add both sides with negative 1 to isolate 2x. And it will become 2x plus 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 15 plus negative 1. So, we add both sides with negative 1 to isolate 2x. So, it will become 2x is equal to 15 because 1 plus negative 1 will become 0. That's why we have 2x here. And 15 plus negative 1 will become 14. Now, after that, we are going to apply uh, multiplication property in this given. So, divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. So, 2x divided by 2, if the answer is x, and 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So, the final answer is x is equal to 7. Now, we already know the value of x, which is 7. Okay? So, to get the other number, so x plus 1 lang daw, so 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. Okay, so therefore, the two consecutive integers is 7 and 8. So, the answer is 7 and 8. To check if this is correct, just add 7 and 8. The answer is 15. And as you can see, 7 and 8 are consecutive integers. Okay, next example number 2. 
find the three consecutive odd integers whose sum is 135. Now, again, three, so tatlo, consecutive, magkasunod, odd integers. Ayan, odd integers. Ano ba yung mga odd integers? So, yun yung mga 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, hindi siya divisible by 2. Number siya na hindi divisible by 2. So, now, we are going to find the 3 consecutive odd integers whose sum is 135. Now, after natin ma-analyze or maintindihan ang given problem, which is we are going to find the three consecutive odd integers na kapag in natin, ang sagot ay 135. Now, let's make a representation. So, first, let x, again, ayan na naman siya, let x be the first odd integer. Then, let x plus 2 will be the next consecutive odd integers. Now, ma'am, bakit nag x plus 2 ka? Bakit hindi x plus 1? So, since ang sabi niya consecutive odd integers, so magkasunod na odd integers. So, since, di ba nga, yung, yung mga odd in numbers ay by 2's ang skip skipping siya or nagsiskip counting siya. So, by 2's ang pagitan nila. So, halimbawa, 1, skip siya, tapos 3, skip ulit, 5. So, that are the uh, add integer uh, numbers or add integers. So, ano-ano ba yon So, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, imbis na mag x plus 1 ka, ang gagawin natin ay x plus 2 kasi ang sabi niya ay consecutive add integers. Okay? Now, we are going to let x plus 4 be the third consecutive odd integer. Okay? So, ayan na. Meron na tayong tatlong representation which is the x para dun sa first number, then x plus 2 para sa second number, and then x plus 4 para sa third number. Now, we are going to make an equation. So, since sum, addition pa rin tayo dito, so you are going to add the 3 given, which is the x, x plus 2, at saka yung x plus 4. And then, kapag sinam up daw natin yan, or kapag in daw natin yan, the answer will be 135. So, this will be our equation. So, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4. Now, after we make the equation, let's find the solution. So, Again, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is equal to 135. Let's simplify. It will become 3x plus 6. Why 3x plus 6? We, are, uh, we're, we just combine the x there. So, we have 3x and then 2 plus 4, we have 6 here. And then bring down 135. Now, apply APE in this given. So, we are going to add both sides with negative 6 to isolate 3x. So, it will become 3x plus 6 plus negative 6 is equal to 135 plus negative 6. Now, simplify. It will become 3x is equal to 129 because 6 plus negative 6 will become 0. So, bring down 3x here. And 135 plus negative 6 is equal to 129. Again, they are unlike sign. That's why we subtract 135 and 6 to get 129 here. Now, apply MPE or multiplication property of equality. We are going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate x. So, we have x is equal to 43. Now, since we already get the value of x, which is 43, so x plus 2 will become 45 and x plus 4 is equal to 47. So, you are just going to substitute the value of x to the representation to find the three consecutive odd integers. As you can see, the three numbers that we get is 43, 45, and 47. So, these three integers are the answer. So, 43, 45, and 47. If you sum it up, the answer is 135. And as you can see, they are consecutive 
odd numbers. Okay? Next example, number three. Eddie is eight years older than his brother. The sum of their ages is 38. How old are they now? So in this given, we are going to find out how old is Eddie and also his brother. Now, as you can see, in, uh, the problem said that Eddie is 8 years older. Remember that Eddie is 8 years older than his brother. And the sum of their ages is 38. Now, let's make a representation. So, let X be the age of Eddie's brother. And let X plus 8 be the age of Eddie. Kasi dito sa problem, ang sabi, si Eddie daw ay 8 years older than his brother. So, kung ang brother na ay X, syempre, plus 8 tayo. Kasi ang sabi dito, si Eddie daw ay mas matanda ng 8 years kaysa sa kanyang brother. Now, after we make the representation, let's make an equation. So, the equation will be like this. X plus X plus 8 is equal to 38. Now, let's find the solution. So, X plus X plus 8 is equal to 38. It will become 2X plus 8. So, apply APE. Add both sides with negative 8 to isolate 2X. So, it will become 2X is equal to 30. And apply MPA in this equation. So, 2X equal to 30 will divide both sides by 2. So, we get x is equal to 15. So, the age of Eddie's brother is 15. Therefore, the age of Eddie is 23. So, therefore, the answer is 15 and 23. So, the age of Eddie's brother is 15 and Eddie's age is 23. Now, it's your turn. Solve the following problem. If you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson will be the start of the third quarter. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone!